Hello everybody, Ace Kiff Gaming with another video and something different to normal and that is because a brand new season of iRacing is due to start. So I'm actually recording this on Friday night. Um, so a lot of things have changed over the last few weeks and a lot has been going on. Um, so some of the things that I've been saying over the past couple of weeks I am going to go into. Um, so that way you know what is going on in the coming weeks um, and into the coming months. So obviously um, we're coming up to Christmas. Um, so we're coming up to the end of 2023. And as of Tuesday at midnight, season one, 2024 starts. So obviously there's going to be some new beginnings. Obviously we're having a means to an end, obviously 2023. For me personally, I feel has been a great year um, with regards to content. Um, I have moved over to um, doing everything on YouTube. So not just um, YouTube videos, but I've also started doing YouTube streams, um, which has been going on for the past couple of months. So the first things first is obviously um, I will be streaming once a week. Um, starting from uh, season one 2024 um, so sometimes it will be officials that I'll be doing sometimes it will be in Giro's obviously we'll be doing the 24 hours a day toner what car will be doing that in I do not know because obviously um, we've all got to communicate as a team so, you know it's not just me that's driving you half for a whole 24 hours but obviously that's for another video the main thing that you guys are here for is wanting to know what I'm going to be doing for June Season 1 2024. So, first things first. League Racing um, is going to be something that I'm going to be doing a little bit more of. So, I may in fact do two streams a week. One of which is going to be on a Wednesday, which is my League Racing night, which is the RPM GT3 Championship. At this very moment, although um, Sign Up has not officially begun yet, I am still technically on the waiting list to become a full-time driver. So I still have to go through the um, alternate driver sign up every single Tuesday night to say I want to be in it. And I've got to be finger on buzzers because some of these spots, depending on how popular some tracks are, they will go f so fast. And I've had it before where there's only been four spots. And literally by the time that an admin says, you know, these spots are now available, before I even see that message... People have already applied on Discord, so I need to try and sort out that issue. Um, so that way I'm hoping that I can try and uh, get around that. So, Season 1 2024, my main car is going to be GT3. So, since I've returned back to iRacing as my primary game, um, if you can call it a game, it's a simulation. Um, I've been driving the four Ferrari 296 GT3. Which is the main car of what all Panda Pink drivers have been driving. Apart from a couple of exceptions. Um, we've got one driver that prefers the BMW. I'm pretty sure another one of our drivers is moving over to the brand new Audi. That has been released in this patch. That has just been released during week 13. I have tested every single GT3. Apart from a couple, which I'm not even going to touch because they are due for an update because they are that old. And that is the Ford GT3, which I believe is supposed to be eventually replaced by the Ford Mustang. Maybe we'll see that next season. And also the McLaren MP4-12-C. Um, that car is obviously very old. That should be getting replaced eventually but what mclaren we're going to be seeing i do not know because there's nothing in the pipelines i don't think at the moment so i've been testing every single gt3 including the ferrari again the ferrari does feel like it has improved but it's still having the same issue that i have been complaining about during the for, um, for during the last few weeks it's not quite the best on top end speed and it feels a bit understeery as well and part of the reason why I've been wanting to um, test out every single GT3 car, apart from a couple of exceptions, um, is that I wanted to be able to test out each individual car for the same length of time, under the exact same um, uh, restrictions, and also under the exact same type of pressure. So I've even been testing the brand new Audi, 
Um, I've been testing out the Ferrari a little bit. That was obviously my primary car last season. And I've been testing out others. The one car that I did not go into a proper race with was the BMW. And the reason being is because it felt like a literal tank. And it felt really boring. But I actually felt really bored after a few laps. So BMW is out of the question. Um, Lamborghini. Um, although I felt towards the end it was getting quick. But I think I had the issue with the Lambo, the Porsche and the brand new Audi. All three of them had the exact same issues that... I don't have the utmost confidence that I'll be able to keep everything in a straight line for the league races, which is something that I want to try and focus on a little bit more for during this coming season, um, of which is basically being able to keep the car clean every single race pretty much, um, you know, and when I'm able to keep things under control. So the Porsche, the Lambo and the Audi are out of the question. So that leaves pretty much down to two cars. The Ferrari 296 GT3, which is what I drove last season. And I will admit it has improved. And the Mercedes AMG GT3 Evo. So for those of you that have known me for a very long time, um, even before I took the very extended break um, at the beginning of the pandemic, um, you will know that I drove the Mercedes, the old Mercedes AMG GT3, um, when I was um, still a, well, I was still like um, one point something K and trying to move myself up the ranks uh, back in my very early days. Um, the Mercedes was actually how I got into the GT3 class under the IMSA series when it was um, the Daytona prototype mixed with GTE and GT3. So... I have been testing out both cars a decent amount and I'm going to be um, even just driving it a little bit more um, but I will confirm now at the moment obviously that might be subject to change if there's any emergency patches that may come out because there normally is um, during, the during the weekend if we do get an emergency patch I will test out these two cars that is the Ferrari and the Merc but at the moment if nothing changes my GT3 next season will be the mercedes amg gt3 the reason why is a couple of um little small reasons i think it gave me the edge um so one of which it feels a little bit more agile which is strange because the mercedes you normally see as the boat because it is such a long car it has a very long front end it does so you know, and I, but I quite liked how it felt. You know, like I've, um, there's not many people driving the Mercedes as well. And I think it actually is quite strong going into season one, 2024. Um, and the second thing is, um, the track that I've been testing every single car on, um, because uh, right now I'm recording everything on Friday, um, is that the top end speed does feel also quite strong. It does. Um, my first actual flying lap, and I was still warming up the tires on my very first actual lap, I actually recorded a 219.1, um, which for me, considering I this was literally my first actual lap, you know, and I was still warming up the tires effectively, and the track temperature was actually pretty, like, decently high as well. Um, a 219.1, for me, I felt was actually pretty good. Um, obviously if it was a bit cooler, I could have definitely have gotten into the 2 minute 18s. But, that is honestly my reasons for why I'm choosing that over the forever for next season. So, obviously that does mean that I am going to be getting another livery designed. Um, so this will be an updated livery. And that will be do um, done by one of our t other team members within Panda Pink Esports. Um, so once that gets released, obviously you will see that um, upon the very first video of season one, 2024. The very first video that you will see will be a GT3 race because that will be my primary um, series um, going forward. Um, so it will be a mixture of VRS Sprint and also some IMSA as well mixed in with it, depending on... Um, a few things but primarily it will be the VRS sprint for series and the reason for that is because obviously the uh, the league of series that I do which is the RPM GT3 championship they 
um, follow um, the VRS Sprint series primarily, apart from a few track exceptions. So, um, what I mean by that is that there is um, one track that VRS Sprint will be going to during this uh, upcoming season, and that is Alton Park. And there are a few tracks, and Alton Park is one of them, where the pit stores, there aren't so many of them. Um, so for that particular week, um, that we're supposed to be going to Alton Park, we're instead going to um, the track that the IMSA series is supposed to be at for that same week, and for that particular week is Sebring, which obviously we're not doing during um, the VRS Sprint series for this season. Um, so obviously we got that to look forward to as well um so another thing is as well why do i say primary series the reason why is uh because i am looking at doing a second series on as well as gt3s so unfortunately the job that i did uh, have um about a couple of weeks ago i will just say now as of the night previous as with me recording this now um i did say to them that um it is just too stressful for me with that particular job so unfortunately i have had to say um i can no longer do the job effectively and it has done quite a bit of a number to uh, my mental health obviously as you some of you guys know i do struggle with mental health quite a bit but I'm glad that I did uh, try and take the opportunity at least and I tried to stick through with it um, for as long as I could. But um, for me, at the end of the day, um, you know, I don't want to make myself struggle too much throughout life um, just to basically earn money. You know, that that to me is not worth my while. You know, I know to some people it would be, but for me personally... I don't think that's entirely worth it. You know, struggling mentally and physically just to earn a few extra pounds or, as Americans would say, a few extra bucks, to me, isn't worth it. So, obviously, I am still going to be... I'm actually going to be doing a lot of studying. I am for something else, um, which that will be for another time. But I am going to be doing a second series. So, at the moment, I am looking at it being the Formula 3 series um, so I've been wanting to try and get back into the Formula 3s for a little while um, so Formula 3s is something that I've always enjoyed thoroughly and I have noticed that the numbers typically are a little bit lower than typical since the F4 the um, FIA Formula 4s have been put in um, I believe they're the F FIA Formula 4s I could be wrong um, but I want to try and get back into Formula 3s again a little bit. Um, so obviously that is going to be another livery. But that's not going to be my primary series. That is going to be more of a secondary series. You know for a little bit of fun. You know and see how far I can go with that as well. Because I always enjoy GT3 um, Formula 3 as a whole as well. It's a fantastic car. I quite like the fact of you know open wheel racing as well. So um so yeah, so obviously we've got that to look forward to as well. Whether I do that pretty much every single week, uh, it will probably be a no. But we'll see how much time I do get. Um, because obviously I am going to be looking for work again. So obviously um, iRacing isn't going to be my entire primary focus. But if I do have the extra time to be able to do something like that, then that I do have as well. But the primary focus for next season will be GT3s. It will be the VRS Sprint Series, and we're going to be doing that in our the Mercedes AMG GT3 Evo. So be on the lookout for that as well. Obviously, um, a new livery will be coming out. I will release when the new livery does come out on my um, Twitter page and also on my Discord, and I might even post it up onto YouTube as well once it gets released to me. So you guys will be the first people to know. Um, so I will probably release it as of the moment it strikes mid midnight on Tuesday. If it's available then. If not, it will be I will be um, posting it to you guys as soon as I have it afterwards. If that is 
not going to be um, given to me in time because it's literally only a few days until the brand new season. So um, as of me recording this, which I'm thoroughly looking forward to, um, you know, some new challenges up ahead. Um, but hopefully things for the better. You know, like um, the second half, I think after the first few weeks or so, I did struggle a little bit in getting positive results. But I don't think that was all completely me. But I think it might have been a matter of I was pushing myself a little bit too hard. And also, I think the Ferrari was starting to have some negative effects, I think. And the start of the season, it was just so good for the Ferrari that in the second half of the season, the Ferrari did struggle. So, but that is that. So, obviously, I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. Let me know down in the comments, especially um, what you are going to be doing during the next season ahead. Um whether you might even be taking a break or whether you're going to be doing the GT3s the same as me or whether you're doing something different. You know, please do let me know down in the comments below. If you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hopefully we'll all have a good season ahead. And if you um, do want to see further videos such as this and actual racing ahead as well as we go into a brand new season and a brand new year, then please hit that subscribe button as well. But otherwise, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you guys next time.